Well, gun control is taking center stage today in the race for Maryland governor. Democrat Anthony Brown is now accusing Republican Larry Hogan of flip-flopping on the issue. And in a related matter, some Maryland moms showed up at Hogan's campaign office today demanding answers. 11 News I team reporter David Collins has our story. The Brown campaign released video of Hogan saying he couldn't back the Gun Safety Act because it went too far. During the second debate, however, he said it didn't go far enough. Critics question, which is it? And it's fueling demands from gun control advocates that Hogan fully explain if elected governor how he would enforce the law. A small but determined group of moms, some accompanied by children, made an unannounced visit to the campaign office of Republican Larry Hogan. There's been a lot of speculation about where he stands on gun violence prevention, and we just want to know for sure. We want some straight answers. The women are part of a group called a Moms mom Demand Action, action for Gun Sense in Maryland. They support Anthony Brown for governor, in part, they say, because of his support of Maryland's sweeping gun control legislation that passed the General Assembly last year. They also appreciate his promise to fully carry it out. I'm a mom of two young children. Um, I have been really impressed by the Firearm Safety Act. The mom's hand delivered a letter asking Hogan to share his answers to a National Rifle Association questionnaire. The NRA gave Hogan an A minus based on his responses. The Hogan campaign declined to release it. The moms also asked that Hogan fill out one of their questionnaires on guns. Gun control is a reoccurring issue in the race for governor. The lieutenant governor has tried to define Hogan's stance on gun control through TV ads. He's brought the issue up twice during debates. Now the Brown campaign is accusing Hogan of flip-flopping on the reason he claims he could not support the Gun Safety Act. This is what he said during the last debate. But the, the only problem I had with SB 281 was it did not go far enough. This is what Hogan told the Baltimore Sun editorial board back in April during a newsmaker forum program. I think SB 281 went too far. Uh, at this point, it's law. It's been passed by the legislature. I don't see that being repealed. Hogan denied for a second time that he privately assured gun rights activists that he would use his administrative authority to weaken the Firearm Safety Act. It's complete nonsense. There's no truth to that whatsoever. Meanwhile, the group of concerned moms vowed to return to Hogan's campaign headquarters every Tuesday until Election Day until he publicly releases the NRA questionnaire. Reporting from the newsroom, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.